it's dialogue correct idea that the various animation promises that we use for the animation. Um, one of the most diverse pieces that we did was called Gotham Night, which was an anime piece that had like six or seven different segments, all done by different animation directors. And that to me was fascinating because it was a whole twist that I never usually thought about how it could look so very different. This is not that far removed from what we've done in the past, but clearly it's not the same Batman that we've seen, it's not the same Superman that we've seen, it's not the same Lex Luthor that we've seen, but they, they clearly grow from what we have done before. It's like different comic books. You read a comic book drawn by one guy, then you read the next one drawn by another guy, and you're like, well, it's still the same animal, but it's got a slightly different coat on it. Well, it must be winter, it's got a slightly heavier coat on it. It must be summer, it's shed a little bit. And so it, it's just interesting and stimulating visual My last question would be, uh, with all the DC animated projects that you oh. Oh. Somebody lean against the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> we saw <laughs> Well, anyway, the last question would be with the uh, DC Animated Universe projects that you've worked on in the past, is there any chance we could see something like a Justice League Unlimited come back in a DC, or you know, Batman Beyond, or come back, <laughs> Batman Beyond or Justice League Unlimited come back in any form like this? It's not ever my decision. I'm just another person with an opinion who happens to work on it. But I would love to see it. I would love to work on Batman Beyond. We would love to see oh, Batman Beyond. Oh, say that. I, I would love to see that done. Um, and also, uh, just the things I love just the And there's so many characters to pull from. I'd love to see that too. There are so many wonderful DC properties that we could go for years and years. As we have gone for years and years and years, but hopefully we'll continue to do that more and more and more. And, and uh, as long as the fans keep watching and keep asking for more, we'll keep making them and we'll try to maintain the quality always and do something that's stimulating and interesting for them as well as for us. Because we have to be interested too. You have to sort of step back and once in a while look at it as a fan and say, is this interesting? And if it's interesting to us, then we hope that it will be for the fans. I think that's definitely been conveyed in everything you guys have done so far. I personally just went back and watched it with Batman Beyond like the start to finish recently. And that's a ride. Just actually watching it you know, sequentially uh -huh. as opposed to over the course of a few years. Uh -huh. So was it, cool yeah, it, was, it was definitely yeah, a different experience. It did, it did progress too. Oh yes, it did, it very much it, so. Like any series, it evolves. Because when you start, you're just kind of feeling it out. After one season, maybe do 13 episodes or 20 episodes for a season. And then kind of you got your feet in. And then you can build it on that. Everybody knows the characters, all the actors are together. I've kind of got more information, more background information. And, and, and like anything, it evolves and becomes often a different animal, but it starts from the same place. So I'm very delighted to see that. Thank you so much for coming. It's my pleasure. And you're at comicsonline.com.